Hello everyone, my name is Grace and today I am going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is A Baby and the Bush, Birds of Moses and the Burning Bush. Let's read. Egypt was filled with Israel. The new Pharaoh was afraid that the Israel would be too powerful, so he made them slaves and treated them very badly. So, like you know, Joseph has taken their families to Egypt, so Israel began to live in their yeah, so, but the power was like afraid because the Israel could be more powerful. We have found the Bible gem. Paro ordered that all babies as Israel born have to be killed. One woman put baby in the basket and put her baby in the basket and hide them by the river's edge. His sister watched him. The one mother didn't want that the baby should die if he kept her. So like he did the she didn't want him to die. So like, he hide the baby in the basket. Question, did Paro make the Israel's life become this become he thought they were becoming too weak? No. He thought that Paro was Israel was stronger. Paro's daughter was passing by the river. She found the baby and decided to keep him. His sister offered his their mothers to help to care him. Pyro's daughter named him Moses. <laughs> so Pyro's daughter, the princess has found the baby when she was passing by the river. So, and like the mirror, her sister offered their mother's help to cure her. Moses grew up. One day he saw an Egyptian beating an Israel. Moses killed the Egyptian. Then he fell to Midian and he was a shepherd for 40 years. So Moses knew that one day he knew that he was an Israel people. So one day he saw Egyptian beating an Israel, so he killed him, and he ran, and was 
as shepherd for 40 years. <laughs> Moses was watching his sheep on Mount Horeb. The voice of God spoke from a burning bush. My people are suffering. Moses, I have chosen you to free them. So, one day like Moses, well, now Moses is a shepherd. He was watching his sheep. And like suddenly... There were a burning bush, but it it didn't burn. There is a Bible to have peace. It didn't burn, but it was a burning bush. I can't, Moses cried. I will help you, God promised. Throw down your staff, Moses said. It turned into a snake. Then he picked it up. It was a staff for game. So, like God <coughs> said to free the Israel people, but like Moses said I can look I have no part to for do those things and God said like cut your stuff and it became a snake and he hauled that and it came a snake question how did God speak to Moses number one the burning bush actually it didn't burn Put your hand in your cloth. God said, Moses did. He looked, it was covered with Jesus. When he did it again, it was healed. Show power that, God said. So, like, God showed her him another thing. That he put his hand in the cloths and there were Jesus over him. And now he did it again. He was healed. I will not see. It. I don't know. Dots. A lot of dots. Uh, I didn't see. Only. I am not the good speaker, said Moses. I will give you. The words God said, your brother Aaron can help. So Moses went to tell Paro to see the Israel free. So, like, again, he said, like, I am not the good speaker, God. So God said, you can go with Aaron. He could speak well, yeah. I will... I will give you the words. <laughs> Question God promised to help Moses when he went to tell Paro to let the Israels go. True. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy the next time I will read another good story? Then see you next time. Bye.